Today I'm going to be shooting video showing how I start the wood-fired stove in the sauna. What I do first is I like to find a good size log that I can put on the bottom of this, this fireplace because as you can see in there, there's these grates and I like putting a log down there so that when I put my kindling on top of it, the embers fall right onto that log and start that log on fire instead of falling through the grate and then I kind of lose that those embers to build up the fire. I like using a bigger log that has like a flat side kind of like this one and the reason I do that is because like the bigger the surface that I can build my kindling on top of the better. After I get that piece of wood set in there I need to make my kindling. I don't have the kindling on demand so each time I come to start it I usually just take like a real dry, real small piece of wood that I have in the sauna and I just chop it down pretty finely with my hatchet. So here you can see basically the process of starting the fire. I got obviously going to start with the matches. Then I got my paper, my kind of thicker brown bag here, and then I got some like old napkins and which are thinner, the light real quick, catch this paper on fire. Then we got our kindling, should probably cut some more because better to have it and not need it than not have it and need it. And then we go to like our medium size, so medium to smaller. So I got some small ones here that I just split with my ax down and then we work our way up to like this medium size. And I really like throwing this stuff on, maybe a little bigger than this, because once it gets going, they burn real hot and real fast. And that way I can get the sauna going as quick as possible, not need to wait an hour and a half to two hours. I can get it going in an hour or so. So I'll uh, got all these here and uh, let's make it happen. I'm just going to start out with like this thinner stuff, like these napkins. It's some papers I had lying around. Just kind of put that in a bunch. And we're going to ball up some of this paper bag, put it right in there. This tends to burn a little longer than that thin stuff, which obviously the longer it burns, the better the chances of it catching the kindling on fire. Not the prettiest looking TP or fire, but it gets the job done. I have been having a little more difficulty lighting the fires because this wood I got kind of midwinter and I don't think it was seasoned all the way or for that long before I got it. And it's still a little wet, but it, it lights and once you get it going, I, I haven't had too much trouble. You can kind of see why I use those napkins first because that, that lights right up. And this paper bag doesn't light as easily, but it, it burns longer and, and hotter. It's starting to catch here. I usually give it a little time to burn some of it. Kind of get a little embers going and then I'll, I'll blow it on it a little once it catches. You can kind of hear the sizzling of the wood. That's the, the wetness and the, the water coming off of the wood kind of steaming off. So it obviously makes it a little harder to start the fire because you got to heat it up enough to boil that water off and then light it on fire. So ideally I would have real dry wood, but I got to make do with what I have. So I kind of got it going here. It took me a lot longer than I anticipated. But I'm going to start throwing some of this mid-sized stuff, small to mid-sized stuff on because I think I got it hot enough and enough, enough embers in there to catch those. So 
So I'm walking back out to go check on the sauna. It's probably been burning for like 10, 15 minutes with that little stuff on there. And I'm gonna throw some of the larger stuff on now. So we got a decent fire going on right now. From this point, I'd say it takes about 45 minutes to get it up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not, not too much longer. I can scale the fire up pretty quickly from here because we got those embers going, we got some big stuff going. So from here it's about 45 minutes. At this point the biggest thing is checking it every like 15-20 minutes and just keep feeding it because you don't want it to burn down too much. You want to get it as hot as possible, as quick as possible. So I, I just come out here every 15 to 20 minutes. I got to do it about two or three times before it's up to temperature. but. I just throw like that mid-sized kind of, I would say like forearm thick, wrist thick sized wood and then that catches really well and burns real quick. I didn't split down enough of that mid-sized stuff so I'm gonna go into the sauna and get some of the dry wood. The stuff I have laying out here, it rained last night. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna get some of this, the bigger logs in the sauna that are dry and then I'm gonna split them down just so I have enough when I'm in here to just keep feeding the fire. Good. 